Hi, my name is Ashley, and I'd like to welcome you to the 25 Days of Psalms Advent Series here at Crosspoint. Today, we're going to be going through Psalms 148. And those of you that, like me, have kind of like the little title above the the chapter in your Bible, this one says it's called Praise the Name of the Lord. So this Psalms, the entire thing is all about praising God. It goes through talking about creation, everything, uh, all of the creatures, all of uh, mankind, everything, praising the Lord. So the theme today is kind of, in essence, worship. And so, really, what does it mean to praise the Lord? Um, you know, praise is an expression of uh, adoration and approval. So, um, you know, I can't think of a better way to worship God than to praise Him. And we have countless things that we can praise Him for. We can uh, praise Him for His traits, His character, just everything that He's done for us. And, um, you know, praise is essentially, it's a central part in worshiping God. And we can see this demonstrated all throughout Scripture. So why do we praise the Lord? Again, you can tie it back to those three things. We praise God because of who He is um, and what He's done for us. And that is a vital part of a life that's surrendered to God. Um, You know, Psalms 107, 8, bear with me, I'm switching gears from 148 for a minute, but in Psalms 107, verse 8, in the King James Version, I'm gonna read King James because I think it's so beautiful. It says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men. So, How can we praise the Lord this Christmas? Um, You know, Advent, we're doing an Advent series. Advent means coming. So I can't think of a better way to want to praise than in anticipation of the coming of Christ. And in a season like Christmas where it's so easy to get distracted by all of the things surrounding us, um, worrying about gifts, buying, preparing meals, all of these distractions in essence of worldly things tend to kind of consume our thoughts in our minds for this season. And I just want to encourage you to just remember the why. So coming back to Psalms 148, I want to focus in on verse 13. And it says, Let them praise the name of the Lord, for His name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. So again, just remembering the why of this season. Not the things, um, the people that are close to us. While important, that's not the why. The entire reason we celebrate Advent and Christmas is in anticipation of the coming of Christ. And um You know, I just want to encourage you another way that, you know, the how can we praise is, um, you know, in my small group, we have been working through praying the Psalms, actually, so it ties in perfectly. And I want to encourage you, take time out and just really focus on our Heavenly Father and the Creator, the one who is good and who loves us and who sent His Son to give His life for us, that we might be restored and have that relationship with Him. What better way to demonstrate that worship and that praise than to pray His words back to Him? So I just want to encourage you, and kind of a little how-to, all you do is I would encourage you to pray. The Holy Spirit will guide you. Pick a Psalm, and you literally just start. Read the first line, and anything that comes to your mind prompted by the Holy Spirit, pray that back to God. It doesn't have to necessarily tie into the verse, but just pray that back to the Lord. And then just continue on, rinse and repeat. Just go through and continue to do that. And you're gonna see that it's really going to enrich your prayer life and just that communion with the Lord and restoring that relationship. So I'd like to encourage you again, just reminders, for this season, keep your focus on the one, on the why that we're celebrating this season. Praise and worship Him for all that He has done, for who He is, because ultimately, God is good. And if we just remember that, then I think that it's going to be easy for us to keep our focus on that and not let the distractions of the things and the stuff of this season get to us. So again, what better way to worship our Savior than to pray His words back to Him, praising Him for who He is and what He's done for us. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for who you are. I thank you that you're good. And I thank you that you sent your son Jesus to this earth to die for our sins so that we can be restored in that relationship with you, Lord. I pray that we're able to focus on that why and that reason alone and not let the outside distractions of this season overtake us, Lord. God, we are so thankful for you and we anticipate the second coming of Christ, Lord. And I just pray, Father, that you bless this season for us and that you draw us near to you. It's in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you for joining us for day four, and we look forward to seeing you for day five.